the Pauline church planting cycle. 10 repeatable phases of starting new churches. The New Testament book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, provides a model of how the Apostle Paul trained others to start several new churches in diverse localities. The Apostle Paul went on with Barnabas to Derbe. When they had preached the gospel to that city, and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith, and saying, It is through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. And when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord, in whom they had believed. Then they sailed to Antioch in Syria, where they had been commended to the grace of God, for the work that they had fulfilled. And when they arrived and gathered the church together, they declared all that God had done with them, and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And they remained no little time with the disciples. From this text and similar ones, we can discern the following ten overlapping phases. 1. A church appoints and send a small team of experienced disciple makers. 2. Team members seek out a receptive community. 3. They announce the good news, usually to households where invited. 4. They make disciples who obey the commandments of Jesus. 5. They return to each locality, to strengthen the disciples, by urging them to remain faithful. 6. They prepare disciples for persecution, by teaching them the great truths and promises of the Christian faith. 7. They appoint elders in each young church. 8. After prayer with fasting, they commend the new churches to the Lord, in whom they have come to believe. 9. They return home, and recount all that the Lord had accomplished with them. 10. They spend time raising up new workers, amongst obedient believers. And so the cycle keeps on rolling, through many generations, across every nation.